Selling digital products is one of the best way that you can start earning an extra few thousand dollars a month, even just as an average person. That's because in the past you had to spend a lot of time and like manual labor and be super smart to create a digital product. But now you don't have to have any of that because we have AI tools that's gonna build our digital product business from scratch in just one day. Now, if that sounds too good to be true, don't worry, because in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step step how to create your digital product business using AI to make all of this super quick and affordable. Any good digital product business starts with a really good niche and a really good idea. That's why we're going to use ChatGPT to help us create our winning product idea. ChatGPT is completely free, but in order to get the best responses, you need to be putting in the best prompts. Let's head over to ChatGPT so I can share with you some of the best ones to use if you want to build a profitable business. So in order for all of this to work, we need to go into ChatGPT and we're going to write down a list of our hobbies, a list of our interests, a list of things that, you know, make us unique, maybe our past jobs, um, whatever really that you want to write into here so that ChatGPT could get a better understanding of who you are in relation to, you know, a potential digital product. The first question that we're going to ask it is, can you analyze my list of hobbies, experiences, and past jobs to identify any common themes or overlapping skills that could form a unique digital product idea? Give me five potential niches. And based on, you know, what you've already told ChatGBT, like before this, right? So you're going to write all this stuff up here. ChatGBT is going to give you a good list. Now, this is just going to be ideas on like, you know, where you can start and then you can form your own ideas based off of what ChatGBT tells you. So when I do that, because ChatGBT like already knows um, about me, these are the things that it's telling me. I can make something about empowering women, business, lifestyle design, any of these things. And it's going to give me some ideas. So first thing that it told me, you can help women in traditional nine to fives who want to transition into remote skill based work. And it's going to give me some potential product formats. So I could sell online courses, mentorship programs, templates, or community memberships. Another question that we can ask is based on my experiences and accomplishments, what unique strengths do I have that could differentiate a digital product in the market? And how can these strengths inform the type of digital products I should consider creating? Creating. Now, this is important because we want to find our blue ocean. We want to find the thing that makes us different and makes us stand out. And based on, you know, the things that you tell ChatGPT, it's going to create a list for that. Now, you need to create this list, right? So here are my experiences and accomplishments. And then ChatGPT will create something and might be able to see something that you're not able to see yourself. And then the last question that I will give you guys to ask, of course, you can ask as many questions as you want to, is considering my list of interests and life accomplishments, what areas are currently seeing high demand in digital products? How do my personal interests align with these market trends? Because you could have, uh, you know, experience in something that you could potentially make a digital product out of, but if it's not in demand, then it's not really going to sell. And so we can use ChatGPT to find out what is in high demand, what is most worth pursuing in order to make some money. Go as in-depth as you want to with these prompts, and the more in-depth that you go, the better responses you're going to get until you have like a full-fledged niche and digital product idea. Now that we have our product idea, it's time to go straight into building our website. Now, I always recommend having your own website because we don't want to rely on things like Etsy, which there's a hundred other shops there that people can buy from. So it's like a race to the bottom with our pricing compared to with our website, we can charge what we want. We can do whatever we want. And we have that customization and the personal brand. Now, building your own 
website does not have to be expensive. We're gonna use something called Hostinger, which I've been vouching for for years because they're so affordable. Like they really have the mix of great features like AI tools and also e-commerce tools as well at a very affordable price. So let's head over to Hostinger. They have a special deal for Black Friday. You can get their business plan for 80% off. I really recommend this because then you have access to things like AI, e-commerce tools, free email, all for a really good deal, just $2.95 per month. You can actually input any number of months that you want, but I recommend going with the 48 month because you get the best discount that way. And use my code ENERGY in order to get your discount. After you pay for everything, we're gonna get started on our website by clicking create a website, and then let's go with the hosting your website builder. If you already know like a domain name, then you can enter your domain name. If not, you can use a temporary domain. Here's where the AI is gonna come in. We're gonna let AI create our website for us. So I'm just gonna name my website Beast Mode Study and add a description about what my business is about. In this case, I'll be selling templates to students. We can customize it a bit more by adding our specific brand colors and then just pressing create a website so that the AI can just literally build the whole thing for us. We don't even really need to do a lot of work. Only work that we're gonna do is customizing it to make it exactly what we want, but all of the hard work is done for us. So we have our website here. We can see the AI added everything about studying. It added pictures that are related to that. It added product sections already all we need to do is customize it. It even added some reviews, a shop section, a resource section, and it also added a blog section and it already gives you ideas for the blog that you wanna write. But let's go ahead and press the edit button so that we can customize everything. Hostinger is super easy because it is drag and drop. So for example, if I wanted to add, you know, a button or text, all I need to do is drag it and drop it. I could literally move it anywhere and customize it to exactly what I like. If we go to the blog section, I can customize the blog as well using their AI writer. Now with the AI writer, all I need to do is type a short description on what I want it to write and it is going to write everything for me. I wanna show you how to add products to your store. So just click on online store and then add a product. And then specifically we're going to create digital products, but you could sell other things like services, physical products, appointments, donations, anything that you want really. Again, to sign up for Hostinger, just use the link in my description and use the code ENERGY. Thanks so much to Hostinger for sponsoring this part of the video. So now that we have our website completely up, it's time to actually build our product. And to do that, we're gonna use Canva. Now Canva has a completely free plan that you can use, but I do suggest upgrading to the pro plan because you just get a lot more. For this part, I'll be showing you how to create a digital product that's like a PDF, but if you have something else like a course or music or like whatever your digital product is, then use other platforms. If you're creating like printables and templates and eBooks and stuff, then Canva is gonna be perfect for you. I don't want you guys to spend too long on it because we just wanna get something out. Realistically, your first product is not going to be your last product. There's gonna be different iterations. There might be something else that you wanna do. So I always tell people like, if you're gonna create a product, create an MVP, create a minimum viable product. This is because this is the quickest, fastest, easiest thing that you can get out to validate that your idea and your product and, and your audience wants what you are selling. This is better than spending one month creating something only to hear crickets. No, rather than building a full course, maybe you just want to sell a guide for now and see if you can hit $1,000 in sales before you put that time and effort into building a whole big thing. I'll be creating an ebook in Canva. So all I did was type in ebook into the search bar and it comes up with a bunch of templates. So if you don't know how to do design and stuff, just use a template that stands out to you. I'm going to choose this one because I like how it looks and 
from here, we're going to customize the pictures, the colors, the text to be exactly how we want it to be. And for this example, I'll be using studying ebook, but you can do, you know, whichever one that is in your niche, of course. When it comes to the internal chapters, I want you guys to already have some kind of outline or notes of what you're going to say inside of, you know, your ebook or inside of your template or your guide or whatever it is, your checklist. But um, if you need help formatting those ideas, then we can use ChatGPT to just format it. It's not going to do any of the writing for us or the thinking for us because it won't give you a good result like that. What I want you to do is say, hey, here are my notes here is you know my brain dump here's my stream of consciousness turn this into a structured product whether that be an ebook for this example or a course outline or whatever you're doing and then you can copy and paste from there especially if you're not a good writer um, but do not have ChatGPT write the whole thing for you from scratch on a topic you know you don't know about you're just trying to make money because it's not going to be a good product trust me have your own notes your own thoughts and just have ChatGPT write everything coherently now for the purpose of this example I'm having ChatGPT write everything but I would not do this if this was actually my book you're gonna do that for however long it takes to create your full product. Make your product as short or as long as it needs to be. People keep asking like, how many pages should this be? How long should it be? I don't know that. There's no way I can know that because only you know what needs to be in there and what doesn't need to be in there. So just move accordingly. Once we have all of this written out, go ahead and download your product as a PDF. It is if it is a PDF document. And then we're going to head back to our Hostinger site. We're going to click on online store and then we're going to click on digital product. And then in the media section, you can add um, your picture. But where you actually upload your file is in the file section, okay? And then your customer is going to receive an email to download their digital product. Of course, the most important part of a digital product business is the marketing. And that's why we're gonna use ChatGPT to help us come up with a marketing plan that works for us and our situation. Now for this, you can either make content like you know on tiktok on instagram on youtube that's the route that i usually go or if you have money you can create ads facebook ads tiktok ads pinterest ads it's really a matter of if you have time and no money create content if you have money and no time then create ads when it comes to creating a marketing plan chat can do that for us so we're gonna go back to the chat where it gave us all the niche ideas and stuff like that. So what I'd like you to enter here is just anything about, you know, your situation. So for example, if you are like a busy mom or if you're in, in school or if you have a nine to five or whatever, you can enter your preferences. So if you prefer to create videos, if you prefer written material, if you prefer short form, if you prefer long term, I'm um, long form, and you're gonna enter your platform. So that's gonna be TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is. And you can enter also your goals. So is your goal to make an extra 1,000, 5,000. And you could also enter any type of like doubts or something that you have that you possibly might want to overcome and you're going to tell gbt um create a marketing plan for me taking all of these things into consideration so as an example i put here hi i'm a student studying and also working so i have limited time but i do have about two hours a day to focus on marketing i prefer to focus on creating short form videos that appeal to my audience which is students looking for a more efficient study method using pomodoro techniques I'm planning to promote this mini course and do it on TikTok and YouTube shorts. My goal is to make an extra $1,000 a month, but I'm having doubts on how I can show my product is better than others and drive sales without an existing audience. 
create a 90 day marketing plan for me that is easy to work with my schedule and the other things I mentioned and will help me reach my goal efficiently. This is an example of a good prompt and of course we can go even more into detail if we'd like to and ChatGPT is going to start creating something um, a plan for you that you can follow. A lot of people are like, I don't know how to market it. Like, just use ChatGPT. It is not that hard to, you know, come up with something. So ChatGPT tells us, okay, we need to establish authority and relatability by providing actionable study tips, time management hacks, and Pomodoro advice. In order to attract, we're going to, you know, engage them by directing them to a free resources that can collect email leads. And it even tells us the type of resource, resource. So it could be a planner or a cheat sheet. And then we can sell to them in our email. So here we have a plan for day one to 30. So this is 90 minutes a day, create one to two short videos. It's telling us our content strategy, 50% educational. Here are the things that we can teach. 30% relatable, share your own study struggles, and 20% promotional. Um, it's telling us what we're going to do for the second month, telling us what we're going to do for the third month, and how we are going to reach this $1,000 a month target. So it could be during our launch week, we're posting three to five videos daily. We're creating urgency by having a limited time bonus. We're having countdown timers in our emails and it's telling us do these things daily. So actively respond to comments and DMs and it's even telling us our email um, series that we can create. It's telling us these are content ideas. The biggest mistake I made studying, fix this. Why Pomodoro works better than cramming for exams. How to finish your study session and relax. And it's even giving us some um, daily, weekly, and sales goals. So we can follow this and actually have a fighting chance at selling our digital product. And if we have even more like questions, we can also just, you know, add these here add your questions add your concerns everything you don't know use ChatGPT to help you navigate that. It's honestly crazy how much AI can help speed run the processes for you. Now, AI isn't gonna do every single thing, but it is going to help you get from point A to point B a lot quicker than you would if you didn't use these AI tools. Remember, you still have to put in work, you still have to you know, be committed and stick with this in order to see results. This AI is not a you know magic potion that's gonna make you a millionaire overnight or anything. It's just a tool in your toolbox. Like think of it like having a virtual assistant or something that's gonna help you do some of those you know, mundane kind of tasks that maybe would be stopping you before. I have a whole digital product playlist that is going to help you literally answer any digital product question that you could have. I will link that down below in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And if you have any questions like usual, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video.